Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. One of the reasons I absolutely love helicopters is that you can get places that you can't with any other device. So today, I'm with Bradley Friesen here in where? We're uh, right now in British Columbia at Widgeon Lake in beautiful Pinecone Burke Park. All right, so we're going to talk about helicopters in a way that you might not have thought of before. But first, let us do a safe landing. So we're coming into what we call Mother Nature's helipad here on Widgeon Lake. All right, here we go. I know, is that incredible or what? Today on Smarter Every Day, I want to talk about a particular misconception when it comes to helicopters. A very famous, well-respected scientist recently tweeted that if an airplane loses an engine, it turns into a glider. But if a helicopter loses an engine, it turns into a brick. Today on Smarter Every Day, I want to question this by literally putting my life on the line. I'm going to get into the back of that helicopter and we're going to power down the engine and we're going to see what happens. How do we get to Earth safely? But before we do that, let's just go enjoy this in a helicopter, and then let's go meet an expert on auto rotation. Let's get smarter every day. Destin, a little birdie told me that you took interest in one of my tweets, where I commented that an airplane whose engine dies lands like a glider, whereas a helicopter whose engine dies lands like a brick, assuming the propeller blade stops rotating. But now I hear that you know of a way to land a helicopter with a busted engine. Well, if so, I want to know about it. You know why? Because I want to get smarter every day. So I'll be watching. What a super classy way of responding to somebody whining about one of your tweets on the internet. Thank you very much, Neil. And you're kind of right. If the rotor blade quits turning, you are going to fall like a brick. But helicopter pilots have a physics trick to keep that from happening. When a helicopter engine is running, it acts like a big fan blowing down the air. If you turn the fan off, it stops blowing and starts to fall, changing the direction that the air goes through the rotors. Now just like a powered fan can create air movement, air movement can create fan movement, just like a pinwheel. Helicopter pilots have the ability to precisely change the pitch of their blades by adjusting a control called the collective. By doing this, whenever the engine dies, they can quickly adjust from this powered fan mode to pinwheel mode so that they can use that air that's now coming up through the bottom of the rotor system to keep the blades turning all the way down to the ground while they fall. If you pinwheel these blades too fast, they're going to overspeed and break stuff and you're going to fall like that brick. So here's the trick. We know that the outside of the blades moves faster than the inside of the blades, right? And we also know that drag is a function of velocity. Because of this, there's this magic point along the blade that it no longer acts like a pinwheel, it acts like a fan. The pilot can then adjust the collective and determine how much the blade he wants to use as a pinwheel and how much he wants to use as a fan. He feathers it and rides it all the way down to the ground, keeping the rotor system at just the right speed. Not too fast and not too slow. He keeps the blades running with the pinwheel mode and he bleeds off the extra rotational energy in the form of lift which helps him slowly glide to the ground. This whole maneuver is called an auto rotation and it's taught by helicopter training pilots everywhere. Now I'd like to demonstrate an auto rotation because you, you need to do some training, right? Yeah. We're going to go talk to who? What's the guy's name? His name's Jerry Friesen. He actually trained me 25 years ago. He has around 16,000 flight hours. Good grief. And he is a, they say, it takes 10,000 hours to become a master of something. So Jerry is a master. And a half. And a half. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go get smarter every day with Jerry Friesen. Jerry? Yeah. 
I'm Dustin, nice to meet you, how are you doing? If someone were to say helicopters fall like bricks, um, what, what would be your input to the common man? What, what would you want the, the normal person to know about helicopters? Well, uh, I would like everyone to know that a helicopter glides nicely like an airplane. And the nice thing about the helicopter is uh, instead of an airplane where, where you're forced to touch down probably at a minimum of 50 to 60 knots, uh, the helicopter can touch down at 10 knots. So it's even safer than so an airplane. I would say you're safer. And the reason is, okay, that makes sense because in order to glide, you have to be moving through the air at a very fast or high rate of speed. Yeah. But in a helicopter, you could do it at almost zero. You picked an open spot. An airplane going into that spot is going to land at 60 and tumble, potentially. Yeah, right. And maybe hit a few trees. The helicopter going into that spot will descend vertically for the last few feet. No forward momentum whatsoever. And the worst that will happen maybe is the rotor clips a tree. That's amazing. Provided that the pilot managed the kinetic energy in his rotor system and balanced it with his potential energy. Mm -hmm. and, and kind of balanced that driving region versus the driven region of the rotor system. Exactly. That's amazing. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're up high and then we're about to disconnect the engine from the rotor system. When we do that, we're going to start trading our vertical potential energy for kinetic energy in the rotor system. So what Jerry's doing now is he's spinning up the rotor system and as we go down we have a part of the rotor that's driving the rotor because wind's coming up through the bottom and we have another part that's being driven. Now that part is providing drag. So what we're doing is as Jerry is adjusting the collective he is trading off the distance on the driving and the driven region of that rotor. So we're coming down he's got it spun up really fast and right here at the bottom, he's going to flare it. And when he flares it, that trades off that kinetic energy in the system into, there we go. You hear that? So we just made an auto rotation. We skidded to a stop, but we are alive. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You're the man. You're welcome. How many hours do you have? Uh, a little over 16,000. Is that all? That's all. Maybe you'll figure out how to do this one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Practice. It's practice. <laughs> you can know the theory behind it, but you don't really understand how you, you do it till you do it yourself, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just it, becomes a feel thing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode of Smarter Every Day. I want to say thank you to Neil deGrasse Tyson for agreeing to be the foil for this video. I also want to say thanks to Bradley Friesen for taking me up in his helicopter. He's got a really cool helicopter channel. You should really check it out. His dog flies with him. It's really fun. I also want to say thanks to the sponsor, which is KiwiCrate.com. However, they're going to support this video in direct response to how many people get Kiwi Crates. Therefore, I'm not going to tell you about it myself. I'm going to let my kids do it because they're cuter and you're probably going to believe them more. You can open your crates. Go for it. If you want to support Smarter Every Day, go to KiwiCrate.com smarter and you can get these really cool crates sent to your house. This is called a Tinker Crate. It's got like an engineering project. What is this one? A biomechanical hand. Over here we have this. What is this one called, buddy? A koala crate is for younger kids, and then this one's called a doodle crate where you can do what? Make crafts. Make crafts. They're really fun. Do you guys enjoy them? Yes, I do. Okay, so we do this at our house all the time, and we really enjoy it. So if you'd like to go support Smarter Every Day, go to kiwicrate.com slash smarter. Get a free crate sent to your house. It's a subscription service. I think you're going to keep it because they're awesome, and they help kids be thinkers and doers and learn a lot with their hands. Do you guys think other kids will enjoy this? Yes. Really? Are you, is Daddy making you say this? No. KiwiCrate.com slash smarter. Every box you get goes directly to support Smarter every day. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! To the chopper! There's no time! Echo! Echo! Why is it you have to say the word echo to get an echo? It's the way it works. I'm getting to explore somewhere that nobody else can get to. That's what helicopters do for you. I drink glacier water. <laughs> Did you make it? I almost. You were very close. And I broke mine. It'll be okay. Give me five. Good job.